If you've ever attended Mardi Gras, you've probably seen Indians dancing during the celebration. Who are they, and what is their legacy in Louisiana? Here's a very colorful feature to tell their story. Nobia is a, uh, a group of uh, several of the Mardi Gras Indian tribes that came together to help promote uh, our culture as Mardi Gras Indians in the community here in New Orleans so that we're not only doing things in our own tribes but coming together to promote as an educational awareness but also as a way to raise uh, awareness and the level of uh, acceptance and promotion for our Mardi Gras Indian culture. The Indians usually mass on Mardi Gras Day, um, Super Sunday, and St. Joseph Day. So we're taking our authentic indigenous culture and we're presenting that in non-traditional settings and that's where um, we, we visit hospitals, uh, schools, uh, senior citizen homes. Uh, we have done uh, promotion with other tribes to talk about how to copyright their artwork, their suits, their beadwork and different things like that because a lot of times other entities uh, profit off of the work that Mardi Gras Indians do with sewing and all the hours and time they put in to create these suits so a photographer could come in, take a picture of it and make money off it and nothing goes back to the person that put in the work to make this happen. It's not that this uh, culture is here to make a profit but uh, it's to share our experience and our unique experience as, as black Indians. It takes about a year so you know it, it depends on how big of a suit you're gonna make the, the time that you you know you can devote into making the suit and you know the money when a person says you know how long does it take to make an Indian suit and you tell them a year the truth of the matter is it is a one year of a life and what I mean by that is if you were working on what we call a collar or a dicky, if you were working on that part of your suit uh, in November you could pinpoint what section you were on during Thanksgiving. So that suit, which is a year of your life, is also a chapter of each thing that happened month by month. The headpieces are very special, uh, the way we make them. And uh, we don't describe too much how we make them, but we use beads in sequence. And I took a little uptown flair, although I was a downtown Indian, I took a little uptown flair and that flair was basically uh, 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 plumes. Well, downtown was basically feathers, uh, beads, and sequins. Where uptown was rhinestones and beads and plumes. It's not something you can like, you gotta love it. It's a labor of love. So that, that sewing thing is a very, very intimate, very spiritual thing because when we sew, we're singing songs and we're, we're thinking about, we're masking as we're sewing. As a, as a person is sewing that apron, in his mind, he's meeting those guys with that suit on. He sees that already. So he's just doing what it takes to make that vision a reality. My uncle would always have his suits out on the bed. Uh, so when I came over to visit him, it was just a, a natural thing for me to see the Indian suit. My first time seeing him in the suit, I didn't even know who he was. You know, he was coming up the street with the Indian suit one Mardi Gras day, and my aunts, uh, you know, they said, "Go on outside and see your uncle Booker coming down the street." So when I saw him, it was almost like Jesus coming down the street. I, you know, I was happy and excited. And I didn't until he got really up close. I didn't know that was him. This culture is important because it is an authentic. American tradition formed by the slaves and the Native Americans coming together. So it's from here and it's still here today. Um, especially here in uh, Louisiana and New Orleans, uh, the tribes come together and it's, it's gone on for years uh, for people and families and friends get coming together to work on these pieces of art, these suits. But it's more than the suits, it's what the culture represents. People that have stood the test of time uh, in the midst of all kind of oppression, all kind of division, to still maintain who they are as a people and as a cultural tradition, it's a gift to our community, and it's very important. We're holding our first ever uh, Mardi Gras Indian Ball uh, called the Soiree of Feathers in March. It's the uh, New Orleans Black Indian Alliance and the Friends of Nobia are putting on the, the most uh, historically um, relevant and culturally significant event in the history of the culture of the Mardi Gras Indians. It's just a time for the tribes to get together and people that love the culture to get together and come together in unity to celebrate this culture.
The main purpose of this is just to unite all the tribes together so that we have a stronger voice as one. Uh, and as a stronger voice as one, we can get more done to promote the greatness of this culture.